Sports bringing you live coverage of the NBA. This is our Sunday night broadcast. Brian Anderson with you. Hall of Famers Doris Burke and Grant Hill joining us tonight, along with the fourth member of our team, Allie LaPorte. There's plenty of games left to go. And he's performed well so far, already proving to be an effective player for his team. I think he'll probably tell you he expected more of himself in the first half of the season. But you're right. I mean, being in the top 10 of these rankings is a positive for any rookie. Now the starting group for the visitors. They've got Jonathan Isaac, and it's Napier in at the two-guard spot. Well, Grant, we're now basically at the halfway point of the regular season, with each game gaining more importance as time goes on. I mean, that's it. We are at that time where the playoff picture becomes clear and teams are hungry for wins. So, you know, they know at this point of the season, every game matters. So you got to love how competitive things are right now. Here's Waters. Oh, sweet move. And it's good on the layup. The first of many tonight. Both teams have legit offensive talent. And that's the story of the league right now. Most any team can beat any other team on any given night. I'll tell you, he is so tough to keep down once he gets near that rim. Yeah, he can get up even a few notches higher. With the crossover. Outside Napier. Connects from downtown. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Here's Waters. Defended by Jones. Shoots from 12. Pass to Isaac. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. So it's the home team now. It's a five-point game. I really think that L has to fall on their defense or a lack thereof. Just not enough focus at that end of the floor. Well, the kind of low-energy effort they played with all night will make a coach absolutely crazy. You can't win if you don't play quality defense. That is such a tough matchup for smaller defenders out there. He can simply shoot right over them. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. to the middle and that one is stuffed right through oh just an artful little reverse slam mm, power and style that was sweet picked by Isaac and he drives in got a hand on it Jones in the post Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Only four for four to get things started. Must have been a good shoot around this morning. You know, when you look at Brandon Miller's skill set, this guy has the potential to be an elite scorer. And that's why so many are excited about him. A three-level scorer who possesses impressive length and a quick release. B.A., this kid is special to the right wing they set the screen driving in the jump hook here's Gabriel drills the elbow jumper Gabriel's got six points well efficiency is everything right so far in this one this guy has been on the money Gabriel's gone three of five from the field here's Waters Soft touch off the glass. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. <laughs> to the paint. Here's Gabriel. And he gets it to go. Four for six so far. Yeah, this period, they're letting him go to work. And it's paying off. Here's Red. Outside Napier. From downtown. That one is off. Offense is coming free and easy as we wrap up the first. Up five. And we'll bring you the start of quarter number two when we return.
hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, they've really been racking up three-pointers in bunches. They've been so impressive to watch. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. So that's how things are currently looking for the dunk contest. But, of course, we'll update you with the latest news as we receive it. And as this lineup starts to take shape, this event is only getting more and more exciting. Outside Napier. Pass to Berea. From outside, off the mark. Pounded by Berea. The three ball on target from range. He's got 11. Well, for a big man, his stroke is just beautiful. And because of the height, it's so hard to challenge. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. And the layup is good. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. Well, LaMelo Ball's shooting touch was questioned coming into the league, but it's been pretty steady. He said, quote, I think I'm a great shooter. I've had it since a young age. I feel every shot I take is going to go in, and my confidence is really high. He said, I practice these shots. It's all in the snap of the wrist and the follow through. Brian? Ooh, very interesting. A flick of the wrist. Thanks, Allie. Good stuff. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. There's a minute 12 left in the first half. Jones with the ball. Pass to Gabriel. On the take, and give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. He's a producer. It's part of their plan to get him as many touches as possible. Here's Waters. 14 points for him. Alvarado outside. Right wing. Six on the shot clock. And that one's good. Waters. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. 40 seconds left to play in the second quarter. Outside Jones. Pass to Gabriel. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Doing it 49% so far in the game. And here's Alvarado. No points so far. Here's Isaac. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Well, take advantage of your strengths. As a roller, Jonathan Isaac has incredible length to finish. That is a pretty play. He shoots. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. They lead by two. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. basketball is upon us and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far shooting has been good 54 percent on this one outside jones 
Grant, you were in the playoffs several times during your career. The postseason's just different from the regular season. It's 100% another level. I'll never forget my first series, 1996, against the great Shaquille O'Neal and Penny Hardaway of the Orlando Magic. Of course, yeah, my Pistons got swept. That was quite an introduction to the playoffs. Getting underway in the second half. Here's the five for Steve Clifford. They've got Jose Alvarado, and it's Napier in at the shooting guard position. They've been pretty lax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. Inside. Lays it up and banks it in. Give him 20. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. He's going off this quarter, a huge reason why this team is on top. Waters, the pass to Berea. And the 18-footer right on the mark. Berea's got nine. I'll tell you, hasn't always been a high percentage shooter, but he's dangerous, and Berea will keep coming at you until you stop him. Forty-one seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. The shot's good. And guys, one thing that's triggered this run, their proficiency inside the three-point line. Down low. Gabriel, count that one. He's 8 for 10 from the field now. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. 26 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Waters. Checking his stats. He's scoring around 9.5 points per game. With the drive. Laid it in with a nice touch off the window. Waters got 30. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Beyond the arc. Tips it, but no good. Well, it's been an exciting game. Plenty of offense as we head to the fourth quarter. Up by nine. And time for a short break. Stay right there. The fourth quarter is coming up next. tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Shooting 53%. Good efficiency on offense so far. Now here's Napier, tightly guarded. Nice shot from the wing. Absolutely ruthless. He's not about to start showing mercy now. Well, when it's closing time, he's trying to lock the door. He's been going all night. Pass to Shayok. Three-pointer. Knocks down the long J. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Pass to Shayok. Shot clock at six. Trains the triple. Backing up that last three with another three. The defense has to stop giving them so many clean looks. And here's Isaac. Outside Napier. Shot clock at five. Launches a three. Rebounded by Gabriel. Gabriel's got rebound number 11. Outside Jones. Drives to the hoop. Here's Gabriel. And he hits it to tie the game. And that was the right decision. When you're in need of a bucket, 
you go to your most trusted guys. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Here's Waters. To the middle. Here's Isaac. And the dunk by Isaac. Wow, evolving before our eyes. Jonathan Isaac wanting the big bucket. Go ahead. Shooting 44% here in the fourth quarter. Outside Jones. There's a screen. To the left side wing. Alvarado defending. Outside Jones. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. I don't know if he's tired or what, but he is definitely holding back a little bit, and he has to step his game up right now. And the stakes were high right there. What a bucket. I'll tell you, that changes things, doesn't it? Good job, young fella. What a game. This is do or die time. They must play flawlessly. They set the pick. Fires for three. And he buries it. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings him within one. They'll probably slow things down now. Burn the clock while you have the lead. I like that. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock and the game clock to take the lead. He connects! Late here in the quarter, they still have a foul to give. All right, guys, what's your take? It's always interesting to see what play a coach has saved for a situation like this. What you want is to create a clean, high-percentage look, if that's at all possible. Nineteen seconds left in the final quarter. Here's Waters, defended by Jones. Here's Waters. Isaac for three. Off target from downtown. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. What a performance they had here at home today. I'll tell you what. These are the ones that are so nice to win and so tough to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat, never knowing what would happen next. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in.